time we go on a first alarm, my heart goes in my throat because I know what our firefighters go through. You can do everything right and still things can go wrong. Investigators look for the cause of a fire that led to the death of a veteran Cincinnati firefighter. Good evening, everybody. Cincinnati Fire Chief Richard Braun says besides learning the fire's origin, local and federal authorities will make a wide-ranging investigation of the circumstances of 29-year veteran firefighter Daryl Gordon's death and review policies and procedures. As Local 12's Larry Davis found, the department will get a lot of support in the meantime. Larry joins us live from downtown. Hi, Rob. The American flag here at the Cincinnati Firefighters Memorial continues to fly and half a staff here in honor of fire apparatus operator Daryl Gordon. Now, today, Fire Chief Richard Braun announced that three separate investigations are underway. One, to determine the cause of the fire, and two separate probes will focus on what led up to the death of Daryl Gordon. Now, those last two will be very extensive, and it could be up to a year or more before they are complete. Meanwhile, the chief says his men and women are getting much needed support from the Brotherhood, nationally and locally. While fire apparatus operator Daryl Gordon was a member of the Cincinnati Fire Department, he was a brother to all firefighters. Today at Cincinnati Fire Headquarters, members from neighboring fire departments, including Independence, stop by to lend support to the Brotherhood. A common citizen walking down the street doesn't realize what kind of Brotherhood this is and how we stick together. Uh, when I heard the news yesterday, I just, I just broke down and cried just because I felt the pain that the other brothers were feeling with them. When word spread that fire apparatus operator Daryl Gordon had been killed while trying to save residents of a Madisonville apartment fire, word spread to neighboring departments like Independence. It is family. Um, I was on shift yesterday, and uh, as soon as we got to work, we saw what was going on and we kept up with the news all day. Um, it's very devastating, um, it's sad. Firefighter EMT Brendan Gray also serves as chaplain for the Independence Fire Department. He says he stressed to his department that it's important to talk about what happened Thursday in Madisonville. The best things we can do is, is, is talk about it. Don't, don't hold those emotions in, you know, let us know how you're feeling. Um, and then if we need to, we'll deal with it. So yeah, we just try to, Try to be open, try to be honest with each other. While Cincinnati firefighters mourn the loss of Daryl Gordon, fire departments have made it clear they are there for them. Anything for the brotherhood. If any of these guys need anything here, we want to let them know, don't hesitate to ask. Please, please come to us and we'll do anything we can to help. And Rob, the independent uh, firefighters dropped off some items today at the fire headquarters and they say they will be available at any time for the uh, fire department here. They say that they might even offer a shuttle service uh, next week during Daryl Gordon's funeral. Now, in the meantime, they will just go about their work and do their job, just as Daryl Gordon did. Live at uh, downtown Cincinnati, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Rob, back to you. Larry, thanks very much. Funeral arrangements for Gordon are pending, but department leaders said today to expect services in the middle of next week. We received property records from the city for the King Towers apartments on Dahlgren Street today.